Okay, here's a brief history of humans' relationship with dogs and cats. Humans have been intrinsically connected to these two animals for thousands of years. Some would say since the beginning of time. Although, those people would be wrong. Beginning of time? Really? You going with that? The truth is, nothing's really set in stone in terms of the first domestication of the dog and cat. You know, it's not like we could dig up some old dog bones and find out, could we? <laughs> Wait, what? It's the eve of the First World War, and a 14,000 year old grave has been discovered in Germany containing a man, a woman, and a dog, known now as the Bonn Oberkassel dog. Could this possibly be the first- Uh, yeah, just put a pin in that for a second, World War One's just started. It's four years later, and scientists get back to work, eventually discovering that not only were the three of them buried together, but that the dog died at 27 weeks old and had a history of illness. Before this point, humans had used dogs for utilitarian purposes, hunting, guarding, transport. But this dog was sick, and a puppy. Why would humans take care of a dog if it didn't serve them any utilitarian purpose? Unless they loved it. So 12,000 BC, we start liking dogs. It's around 2,000 years later that we actually start domesticating cats. Or rather, cats sort of domesticated themselves. Agriculture boomed, so we had food. Rats wanted that food. We didn't want the rats. Cats wanted the rats, though. So we enjoyed this symbiotic relationship of us having our food protected and cats getting a free rat out of it. And then they just stayed, I guess. So now we have the dog, billed as man's best friend, and the cat, literally worshipped as a god that one time. And one ultimate question. A question as old as time itself. Or well, probably the last 12,000 years. Dogs. 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 Yeah. Dogs. Cats. It depends on the situation though. <laughs> so sometimes maybe cats? Yeah. Dogs. Cats. Dogs. Dogs are fun. Cats are fun too. Dogs really take smell care of and cats self clean. 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 Dogs are, they're messy. Ducks. Dogs. Yeah. What are you guys saying? Are we talking like as a source of protein or like what? Cats are tastier. Yeah. They had a pet cat. Ooh, plus tens. <laughs> Can I dig into this wound any further? Uh, I, don't, I don't think you want to, but we did start dating a few weeks before the cat. Um... Cats. <laughs> Dogs. Dogos are just like dumb and just great. Woo! Dogs. Dogs are cool. Like, yeah. They actually like give you love. You never know when a cat's thing. Cats are shit. Cats are boring. Cats are annoying. Cats are little monsters. <laughs> I hate cats. Dogos! Can't we all just get along? Peace. He wants peace in this world? Bring your native animals. Yeah, They're no. a real problem for our native wildlife that both introduced. Hot take. Cats, they feed themselves. They're their own, their own people. Because they're cooler. Low penalties. You know, dogs are cuddly, right? I'm allergic to cats, though. Dogs are low. I'm highly allergic. We're both allergic. Neither one's greater than the other. Allergic to cats. Everyone's allergic to cats. Why can't you be allergic to dogs? Because they're good. Like, they're obedient. Dogs because they are more affectionate and more rewarding. Definitely dogs. Dogs, definitely dogs. Dogs, 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 dogs. dogs. really uh, ripping into cats right now. Dogs. Hey, but George, uh, what do you think? What, dogs or cats? Yeah. I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? Okay, here's a brief history of my relationship with dogs and cats. I have had four dogs in my life, all of which have loved me with their entire life force, and a total of three cats, the most recent of which just left one day. No goodbyes, just packed his bags, and I haven't seen him since. And since that day, I have vowed never to like cats again. They are menacing, heartless creatures, and I will never, ever... And then I met this one. We have lived with dogs and cats for thousands of years, but at some point we created a dichotomy, forced to choose between one or the other. But it doesn't have to be this way. Surely we can coexist. Just because you've had a bad experience with something doesn't mean you should outright boycott an entire species. Why can't we all just get along?